How hyped are you after that epic song? <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to my new live stream series slot. Uh, well, this is the first time I'm doing this anyway. I guess I tried last week with Gatrick Spin and just got slapped in the face by technology. So this is second try, but hopefully uh, it'll got, go smoother. I'm not going to risk it so much on YouTube and... Uh, now I know that I can't even try to get uh, Ryan joined on Twitch. <sighs> so maybe someday we'll figure that out. But <laughs> not going to waste my time with it again. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Julianne, Ollie, Jim, Mr. E, Venus Gaijin, Raphael. Good to see everybody here. And I'm excited to catch up on some Bandmade. Uh, you might know I'm seeing them in Minneapolis on Sunday with the rest of the Gaijin guys. And... I, these two albums are the only ones I haven't listened to all the way through, which I've been saving because, you know, I do reactions, so I wanted to do first time reactions to all of them. Uh, Dead Bent, welcome. And so, I'm starting with <coughs> World Domination and going to Conqueror after that. That's a sequential order, right? Um, and then I got this handy dandy unofficial bandmate database <coughs> that has the info, lyrics, music, arrangement, credits, and stuff, and some notes. So that might be a cool little reference guide for this as well. Um, anyway, I guess most of the recent stuff has pretty much the same credits. <laughs> anyway, all right. Purple Dracos, Tom, Faligar, uh, Kenobi One, <laughs> Giga. Chatty, Ali, Istrajan, Homo Pit, <laughs> Toolhead Jr., welcome all of you. All right, let's get started here. And if we do get interrupted, which is kind of likely because YouTube does that when you play copyrighted music, we're going to move to Twitch so we can continue the full stream uninterrupted. But for now, pound like on this video so people see it because uh, YouTube's a lot better at notifying, sending out notifications than Twitch is, in my opinion. Anyway, all right, let's do this. I can't live without you. I may have heard this. Well, actually, let me just go through this list quick, see which ones I know I've heard, which ones I'm not so sure of. Obviously, play, domination, Rockin' Me, Dang, Daydreaming, Anemone, 
but I think only the acoustic version. Dice. There might be a lot on here I haven't heard or I've forgotten about. So let's just start from the top. Okay, this sounds kind of familiar, but oh my gosh, there's so much guitar stuff going on in that intro. That's insane. I love the octaves, harmonies over that riff, and then that other noodling lick came in. I gotta hear that again. Guitars are so non-stop. How? I don't remember doing this. Does anyone in the chat remember if I've reacted to this? But I don't think so. The guitars are so heavy though. What a crazy way to start the album and just get you pumped. <laughs> gosh okay you get this lick sneaking in in the right ear doing this really cool progression and now we're getting more of those octave licks in the left ear yeah. this time pattern. Okay. I don't think I've heard this before. This all feels really fresh. First of all, what the heck? Psyche is... This has to be such a difficult song to sing. You know, non-stop, high-energy vocals and guitar. But, oh my gosh. Also, another very unique sounding guitar solo from Konami. I want to hear that solo again. Dude, that's I 
a bunch of other techniques I don't usually hear her do in this guitar solo. Lots of cool sliding into like triad chords and stuff. And the alternate picking pull off thing where she's not tapping. She's literally playing every note. It's just what in the world? I wish so badly that I had access to the actual stems from the recording session of this because it's the guitars are so complex. Like Konami must do so many layers in the studio um, to where it's almost impossible to hear every little nuance in the full mix. You know, I want to be able to go in and hear what each take of the guitar is doing because it's so complex. Um. Ooh. Ooh. That was hot. Dang. Um, I want to see if I can pull up a live version here. The next song's play, which I've seen several times. So, I just I want to see how they play this live. Someone mentioned in the chat. Henry, I think. Thank you for that. Uh, let me see. Can't live without you. Band made. Oh, live. All right. Hey, Dean. Dean got a live video up. Sweet. I'll be meeting Dean this weekend, too. All right, let's check it out. This is DC last year. It was like right before I saw them, I think, in Boston. So they played this on the tour last year, but was it only at this one con this one show? Oh, I miss that. Oh, I feel so happy, so proud. Thank you, Paul. Oh, you can see me in the balcony there, barely. That's awesome. Then made fan Finally, ATL. We are in Washington DC. <laughs> and okay. can you hear my it's nothing like a bandmate show. I guess I could. Let's make some YouTube. noise to Mr. Lincoln, okay? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Mm, still small boy. I love how every show is more, unique. More, 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 please, okay? <laughs> like, this is something she could only do in DC, you know? Is this like 
Oh, okay. Look at that finger work. She breathe. Wow. Dang. I, like, I still mind blown, baffled how she actually sings this song live so much. Hey, Paul and Seize the Day, welcome. It's good to be back with the maids. Ooh. You got your uh, best of the maids volume one and two about an hour ago. How exciting! I heard that they were remastered too. I think Core Destiny put that in the first version of this video that for some reason didn't work out. Um, but I'm excited to hear that. I feel like this sounds better than the album. Her voice is so much more developed. <laughs> she is running out of breath a little bit. <laughs> Just commands that stage. Oh, here we go. Get those ear monitors in. Nice. I'm excited to see, uh, hear how Konami's Bogner sounds compared to the Mesa here. Because I've always been a huge fan of that Mesa tone. It's just so, uh, I don't know, organic feeling. But the Bogner must have some type of edge if she wanted to switch. <laughs> oh my god, non stop vocals. Wow. Tasty. Great video, Dean. Thank you for sharing that. I like that that's gotta be a really difficult, like on the higher end of difficulty for Psyche. Just I mean you could hear it in subparts just running out of breath and stuff. 
but for the most part, it sounded amazing. All right, so I'm going to skip a dip, play, and go to one and only here. Let's check it out. Actually, I guess I could look it up on YouTube to start, so there's an actual video for us to watch. This is another one that looks... Okay, I have heard it before because I've... There's a red bar, but I don't remember it that well. So, uh, let's see. Oh! <laughs> I have a reaction video up. I didn't even know it. What the heck? Okay, I did it in a triple reaction because this, there was a band Micah song, Tora and... Was it Tora and Tora? Yeah. Okay. That's right. So I listened to it once, and then I listened to the Ben Micah version. Which, that came out around the same time, right? As these albums? But, uh... I kind of want to see this live version. Nice texture on the screen. Ooh, Lisa's slides. Oh, there's lyrics. Oh, thing, thing. okay, I recognize this now. That's a really interesting timing for those unison dun 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 or whatever it was. So much syncopation, and like it would be so easy to, for that to fall apart and get off. It was very specific timing. Cool string arrangement too in the background there. Just throw that one random measure of electronic drums, or not even a measure, it's like a beat, and then it kind of brings it back in. the heck okay i forgot about that part i gotta hear that in the uh recorded version now it was a two Okay, got like, I'm guessing Mika's rhythm guitar part is playing like some doot, 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 dyad chords and it sounds like switching pickups or something to get it to have that choppy effect, keeping the rhythm while Konami's noodling around. 
doing whatever she's doing and Misa's playing these melodies on up on high on the bass neck that was insane I gotta watch them do that live now again Now those are some complex polyrhythms. That was interesting. Oh, Konami singing back up on this? Dang, that was fun, dude. Okay, yes, Matt, good to see you. Welcome. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch that Tora Tora video again now. Just to remember it, Tiger and Tiger. That's what it stands for. All right. Oh wait, is there? A video for it, or is it just? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're, <laughs> they're vocals. <laughs> So crazy how they take a song and make it into a completely different song but with like the same compositional structure, just different arrangement and instrumentation and stuff. And lyrics, right? Okay, that's gotta be that's gotta be Koto, right? The those like cascading harpy sounds. Because so a Koto is basically like a harp, right? Um, taut strings that are each tuned to a different pitch. Okay, thank you, Jim. Dang, I love that arrangement. Okay, so the lyrics are changed to Kyoto dialect, to, but generally keep their meaning um, as opposed to the normal Tokyo dialect, standard Japanese. Thank you, Matt and Sammy. I think you've told me that before, but y'all know how that goes. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, was that the part? Wow. <laughs> what is Miku saying? Wow, that's so different. Nice. All right. Well, that was interesting hearing that difference. And I, I'm not going to lie. I like the original bridge better with the guitar and bass, but this one has a really nice vibe to it. It's a cool uh, arrangement for the traditional instruments. Oh. All right. Getting hot. Hold on a sec. Whoops. We're having another really randomly hot day today. And uh, also, I have some health problems that I didn't know I had that I just found out about. <laughs> so, at least now I have an answer for why I've been feeling the way I've been. But, uh, yeah. They've been causing a lot of discomfort this past week or so. Anyway, <clears throat> domination, of course, I've heard that. Fate. I'm going to listen to it because I don't recognize it. But let me see here. I Oh, that's right. I did like a deep dive into this one. Okay, the guitar must be pretty interesting then. Let's check. Ooh, we have another live video. Oh, what the heck? I forgot. Nice, like, mid tempo headbanger. I gotta shout out this channel too. Kyo Higasa? Um, making these lyric videos? That's pretty helpful. Um, let me pop it in. Oh, I don't have the chat out here? That explains why I'm so confused. Okay. I was like, something's not right here, but I don't know what it is. And I don't have the chat. Here we go. So here is the cool lyric video. Um, all right. <laughs> Fate doesn't slap, it slams. That's funny. Uh, and thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. I bet Ryan's reaction was good. Spirit? No, I don't think I've heard that one. Maybe I have? Uh... Hey, Mikoto, welcome. 
I'm doing the two albums that are untitled. <laughs> All right. Hey, Wave. Oh, that reminds me. I keep forgetting to clip Angie saying, hey, Wave. I'm trying. I want to make like a little thing you can do in the chat on Twitch. I guess it doesn't work on YouTube. But where you can do a command and it says, hey, Wave. But it's Angie from Gatrick Spin. Anyway, okay. I'm all caught up on the new songs. I love their lyrics. I love the way she says, what a bother. Are the red lyrics in English? <laughs> That's awesome. that bass lead. Dude! Dang, Konami had some sick solos on this album. I gotta hear that again. What a way to blast into a solo with, with that lick, dude. Oh, those octave intervals. That whole section was so cool, the way it kind of went into the bridge or whatever that was with Misa leading on the bass and just completely changing up the sound. This feels so classic rock. What does that oh, that rhythm remind me of? It reminds me of some classic rock song I can't think of right now, but I love that this has that classic rock headbanger anthem vibe to it. You know, mid tempo, you can really just get into the groove. <laughs> 
Rocket V are on the same album, not too far apart either. They both have that, like, just great headbanging vibe. All right. <laughs> Quicker tempo, but it's still, like, that anthemic feel, you know? Okay. Spirit. Let's do Spirit. Mm hmm. I'm so excited. By the end of this stream, I plan on being able to listen to Bandmate on Shuffle without spoiling any reactions. <laughs> Even though a lot of these ones I'm listening to right now, I've heard before, but I've been afraid to listen to World Domination or Conqueror just as full albums for that reason. Because I'm like, I know there's a few I haven't heard, so I don't want to spoil it. But uh, anyway, dang, we got another Spirit Live video? Is this the same channel too? Kyo Higasa, thank you so much. Again, here's another th reason I love Bandmade so much, is the way they take the lyrics, especially in this song, it starts out with really dark, very relatable feelings, you know? <laughs> and the bridge kind of is like, okay, let's push through this, let's do something, and then the chorus, it's like, let's take charge of this and push through it with our spirit, you know? And it, it's just such a great they do that in a lot of their songs where they almost have a story arc starts out rough and then ends with a positive message same with Klupo songs you know one of my favorite songs This actually, story-wise, this reminds me of Unleash a little bit, you know? The ooze are fun, too. I gotta say before I forget, I love Akane's intro into the chorus right here with that double kick. That was nuts. Oh, triple. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I gotta hear that transition one more time. I'm sorry. I talked a little bit over the the transition, but I'm gonna shut up and let it play out. I think there was a solo coming too. That is so cool. <laughs> Dissonance, baby. Holy crap! Okay, just from what we're seeing tonight, I think do World Domination might be having some of Konami's best guitar work on it when it comes to guitar solos. They've all had completely unique sounds and styles to them, and they've all been mind-blowing, dude. Another guitar solo? <laughs> Dude! That song was so sick! Two guitar solos, like, blooming. Man. How has... How, how have I been missing this one? It's almost like Unleashed Part 1. Like, lyric-wise and structure-wise. And it's even got the exclamation points in it. Um, Message-wise. <laughs> but... It, the guitar solos are so sick. Oh my gosh. I gotta hear that outro one more time. Tasty. That's cool. All right. Again, thank you, Kyo Higasa, for the subtitles. It's nice being able to actually understand these songs while I listen to them. Uh, all right. So, Rockin' Me's next, which, of course, I've heard. Clang. I feel like I've heard Clang, but I don't remember it that well. Let's just take a peek at it. Um, all right, we got another live with the uh, subtitles. Man, this is working out really well for us. <laughs> Oops, that was an accident. Okay, holy fuck, it's, it continues to be some of Konami's best guitar work. Oh my gosh. Like, I love the Unleashed album, but like, this style of guitar is so much more fun to me, you know? Maybe it's because it doesn't completely go over my head, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously she keeps progressing and getting better, but this style is just so good. Oh, 
That's fun. This guitar harmony. Dude, Konami's tapping work in this, and then this riff has a lot of cool, like, hammer-on stuff going on, and it's just the flow of the song. Was that, like, a two-part chorus? There's, like, a, or I guess a post-chorus after the whoa oh, oh, oh part, and it just flowed so seamlessly. I can't believe we're two minutes in. It feels like it just started. Ooh, the times. Another tasty solo, and she's on a really interesting scale here. Oh. <laughs> that build up at the end. Oh my gosh! Dude! Oh, I'm having so much trouble just this all sinking in right now. Because how? They've been together nine years. Wait, I guess almost ten? No, ten years. Duh, they just had their anniversary. I'm an idiot. Anyway, how, they have so many great songs, so many great albums. Most bands in America, you know, put out one album every three or four years, but they've been putting out one a year, except like a little bit of a break, I guess, for COVID. Kinda. I mean, they still kept putting out new music, but how is it all so good? Like this one kind of lyrically reminds me of Manners a little bit, you know, um, just that perseverance towards your goals message or something like that i don't know a lot of their music has that same message of not giving up and getting through tri uh difficult trials and stuff but it's just so good it's so well composed and these freaking licks and tapping stuff just like the amount of work that they've put into consistently 
creating new music, new songs, and the quality that they're able to maintain is mind blowing. I can't even comprehend it. I can barely finish one freaking song, and they're putting out all this great quality stuff, you know, year after year. <laughs> my gosh dude that was ridiculous oh okay clang dude this album is so good turn me on that sounds familiar i'm pretty sure i've heard this before but since i don't remember exactly what it sounds like maybe i haven't oh my gosh we got another live Okay, thank you, Matt. <laughs> yes, this sounds familiar. Oh yeah! I think the one this I think remind me of like Black Sabbath the first time I heard it. <laughs> Crap. I recognize this though. She's about to. Okay, I think I heard them play this live actually. Dude. This song is so sexy. <laughs> I mean, what else? How else can you describe it? It's just like, you know. Power anthem. Okay, I'll let the video play anyway, even though I've heard it before. What else do we have to catch up on, though? I think I've heard a lot of the stuff towards the end of the album. I am curious how much I have on Unseen World or on Conqueror that I haven't heard, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Give me one second. I gotta turn up my AC because I am sweating. A lot. AC was set to fan instead of cool. That ain't gonna help much. All right. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, 
This rhythm change is cool. Yes. Love those half steps. The, you know, Phrygian dominant Byzantine style sound with the half steps and whole half steps. Just so tasty. All right, dude, the guitar solo is crazy too. All that alternate picking. Love this album. Can't wait to just listen to it casually, you know? Carry on living. Here's another one I gotta look up. See if I've I've reacted to it. I don't think so. All right, let's do it. Whoa. Akane just blasts in there. Oh, I love these lyrics too. The, my enemy is my thoughts. That's so true sometimes, dude. Ah, 
<laughs> kind of sound like blooming a little bit right there. I love the way they're using the octaves um, for a lot of the unison parts throughout the song. It really makes it sound beefy. Interesting guitar solo, not quite as shreddy as the other ones we've heard on this album so far. More of like using chords and harmonies and stuff like that and, you know, letting it ring out. Um, but that little pre-guitar solo part, it had the guitar going up. And the bass is going down. I'm pretty sure that was like foreshadowing for Blooming, which is on Conqueror, right? If I remember correctly. Um, but cool stuff. I just decided to finish my vitamin drink and <coughs> it was all, <coughs> it was all like clumped up at the bottom and it was just like a mouthful of dry powder. What the heck? Sorry about that. Let me back this. <laughs> Need some water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, disco beat. <laughs> this almost feels like God should explain in this part. <laughs> Nice. Wow. That that was sick. I really liked that second guitar solo too. It was like a completely different style from the first one. Did she do a lot of that in this era? Because I know like Choose Me, that came out like between this and Just Bring It, right? And that has two guitar solos. There's been two on this album so far, and then Blooming has two guitar solos. How many other songs have two guitar solos? Anyway, I love it when she does that, and especially this time, they're so different from each other. Oh, all right. Carry on living. Daydreaming. Oh, love that song. That, that one still makes my heart flutter, you know, just hearing it, then play it live. Uh, okay, Anemone. Let me look this up. Pretty sure, I think I've heard the acoustic version of this on a live stream a while ago. Anemone. How do you say this? Anemone? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Ryan Mir reacts. Nice. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll just uh, do this then. Oh, they have it up on their channel twice? Interesting. Oh, so it is kind of an acoustic song anyway. Well, so far. I really wish this one had lyrics, though. If, if Ryan reacts and cries, I want to know what they're saying. Let me see. 
If someone's made a lyrics video. Oh! Oh, it's a cover though. Oh, Mew covered this song? That's cool. But I can't listen to a cover for my first time hearing it. All right. I will just let it play then. Take in the music first. Okay, I love this sound. I'm going to start it over from where the vocals come in so I can keep up with the lyrics. So I just found the English translation. So let me make it bigger here. All right. different side to psyche's voice just she was really showing restraint i totally thought it was miku in the beginning because it's just like you know it doesn't have the usual grit and power it's just really really fitting the mood of the song right now and then when the band came in Oh my gosh, that was sick. Akane starts right out of the gate with this crazy drum pattern that's just, like, you know, unlike anything I've heard before, like usual. Oh my gosh, Konami's tone is so good in this. Very classic rock, that organic tube tone. 
She went like Jimmy Page on this solo, doing those cool like pentatonic do 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 things that Jimmy Page always did. That was oh, it's like nostalgic and fresh at the same time. really shows the value of letting notes ring out sometimes and just letting the song breathe because we know she can shred but for this song it's a better choice to let it ring and really let let it sink in oh much class and style and dynamic in such a short amount of time. What the heck? Wow. Cool outro, too. What in the world, dude? And also love how lyric bandmate lyrics are rarely... There's rarely repetition in them, you know? There's a bit in this song, but it's like a fresh set of, of lyrics in every part of the song. Like, even in choruses, something that stood out to me about manners is every chorus had a unique structured message and this is just like a a full story you know love story very cool all right so man now i want to see the the uh, acoustic version is that on youtube If it's not, I probably shouldn't watch it on here. But, <laughs> all right. I got to check that out later, though. Which concert was that in? It's on Bandmade Prime, right? <laughs> okay. So, Alive or Dead? I don't think I've heard that one. Let's check it out. Dang. Oh, we got a live version. All right. Hey, Vlad. Good to see you. Welcome. Glad you made it. This is different too. You 
Wow. Again, this is such a different sound than what I've heard from Bandmade before. It's just, it's got a, a strangely dark tone to it. And I don't understand what the lyrics are talking about yet, but like, it's really interesting. <laughs> Love those drum fills she's doing. Her toms sound so tight and snappy. Compound drum fills. The guitar, too. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh! Okay, compared to the last song, Anemone, the guitar solos. It's like, it's just even the same guitarist. It's such, so different. And this drum pattern, what the heck is this? Catchy riff. Dude. <sighs> Everything. Every song has such a unique flavor to it on this album. It's crazy. All right. Oh. Let's see here. Dice, of course, know that. What is this now? Uh... World Domination Band Made Track List. Is it on here? Is that... Why are these not in order, by the way? It's, uh, oh, it's Honey. Okay. The Mook Cover? Is that what that is? Okay. Okay. I know I've heard that before. Fan made honey. Maku. Yes, here it is. I doubt they're going to play that live, right? Since it's a cover. So. Let's move on to Conqueror. All right. Oh, it starts with Paige. What a great way to bring it in. Okay, Glory, Liberal. I don't think I've heard either of those. Right? All right. Let's start with Glory. Eee! 
there's an official music video. Now we're talking. One of those VR glasses? Reggaeton beat. Okay, I think I have heard this before. Have I? Oh. Okay, thank you, Matt. I heard it during the concert, but okay, I haven't heard the studio version. This is so sick. What is this? Dun, 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 dun. They're playing their instruments in VR. Oh, I see. The actual video is a simulation and they're controlling it from their VR sets. <laughs> That's cool. The Imaginarium. Guitar layering is ridiculous. Uh, Love how the riff has that. Like that for me is such a hooky part. It's a, you know, unique part of the riff that gives it some sass and attitude. Trumpy <laughs> just slaps. Oh my gosh, Vlad, thank you so much. Vlad gifted 10 Wave Potter memberships? That's amazing, man. Thank you. Vlad, you're the sweetest. Really appreciate you. Um, all right. Dude, I love this music video. It's just like, it's got a really interesting aesthetic. Very on the zeitgeist for the time, I'm guessing.
tasty. Triplet lick. Dude, I'm so stoked to be, whoops, to be able to listen to these albums without worrying about spoiling the reaction because I think they might be two of my favorite albums. The guitar work on them and the composition. Also, again, thank you, Vlad, so much for all the new members. Um, <laughs> That's so crazy. All right. So... I, I've never heard liberal. Cool. That's the next one on the list, right? Yep. Okay. Fan made liberal and sweet. I think we're going to be able to get through this whole album too. This, this will be the ultimate uh, live stream for me to get caught up with band made. And then it'll just be like the random B sides and, and stuff that, like, aren't on the main albums, which I think I've heard a decent chunk of those, right? Choose me and whatnot. But, uh, anyway. Let me get this out of here. Okay. Oh, she played it in the PRS review? Okay, let's check it out. Shout out to Ryan. Get out. Double kick. Let's forget and we think They have I just realized this in the last song, but they have this sass and attitude that they put into their riffs where they just have this really, it's something about the rhythm and the note choices and everything, which I guess all music is, but you can just feel their attitude coming through. This one, ding, 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 ding. it's just like, it sounds sassy, you know? Look how the truck. I love how the drums are just on the offbeat too. Like the kick is in a syncopated offbeat and the bass and drums, I mean bass and guitar are kind of holding down the rhythm. Really interesting. like another completely different lick for the second verse but it's got like these little accentations in the right ear for the guitar like little oh. right there That was cool too, the vocal layering with the like uh, pa um, EQ pass filters and then a little bit of distortion. That sounded sick. By the way, there's a B-Sides album, like officially? Rarities and B-Sides? Where do you find that? Not on Spotify, right? <laughs> that sounds really fun. Wow. 
What the heck? That part was insane. Like the polyrhythms of the different instruments, keep it on the same beat, but just changing up the rhythmic texture threw me off. I gotta hear that again. Um, okay, it, there is nothing official, but uh, the problem is all their songs are so good they just put them on the albums. They don't. <laughs> they release everything they write, you know. So there are no. Well, maybe there are, but I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, at least anything they complete is a full band. I'm sure Konami writes a bunch of songs that are just sitting there waiting to be worked on. That is so sick. That had to be Miku screaming, right? Kind of like a, in YYY that just, ah. Uh. Or was that Psyche? Oh, it's layered. Okay. Pigeon scream. <laughs> oh, I love that. How does Konami write so many great riffs? Ooh, there's 15 seconds left? Oh, is this like a lead in to the next song? It's the spacey soundscape, or is that just the outro? Creepy. Like a little drone sound. All right. Well, that was sick, dude. I did not see that bridge coming. <laughs> Classic fan made. Yes, endless story, another tearjerker. Uh, Mirage. Have I heard Mirage? I know I've been staring at it on this album list forever, but I don't think I've heard it. <gasps> Mirage with English lyrics. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, it was in the acoustic online. So of course I've heard that version. That's probably why it sounds so familiar. I don't think I've heard the original. Dude, this drum pattern, that cool guitar lick in the intro. The guitar must be running through some type of synth too, because it has that like, that like, you know, not completely natural picking sound. Uh, very cool. Don't worry, Mikoto. The stream's already been demonetized. This is all copyrighted. <laughs> but I mean, this video is on YouTube, so we should be fine. Oh, it's like I'm lost. Holy crap, Dragonfly? You just bought bandmate tickets for Minneapolis? And trying to get there? Well, I really hope you get the time off and you're able to be there. That would be awesome to meet you. That's awesome. Matt will be there. I know Raid Tech will be there. Uh, Undead Ninja, who I don't think is here. 
Dean, whose video we watched earlier. I know, gonna get gonna be able to hang out with a lot of cool people. Um, and of course, all the Gaijin guys. If you if you care about that. <laughs> I gotta back this up a little bit. Wow. Another one of those, when does Psyche breathe during this verse situations? <laughs> That bass. Oh. That guitar song sound is so cool. It reminds me of the guitar solo from Panic Station by Muse. Like, whatever that synth effect is on it, it's got that really explosion y sound, just like whoop, 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 you know, there's a volume swell and stuff in it. Uh, but it's just like catchy lick here. Again, sassy. <laughs> Gosh, Kane with another compound drum fill, triplet style. Oh. And switching from triplets to court, uh, eighth notes too. That was pretty sick. Wow. Bass. I just, I did not know where to pause it there because so many cool things happen. And it's like the typical bandmate formula. The middle of the song, like from the second chorus, the bridge, the guitar solo, whatever happens there is always so interesting. The, oh my gosh. The way that guitar solo floated to that bass, that did it, did it, did it, did it, just like super rhythmic sound. That was so tasty. <laughs> Love their vocal harmonies too. It's another thing I forgot. Like during, right before the guitar solo, the Psyche and Miku's harmonies 
in that part where it's really nice. She has like a modulation shifter going on during that part where it's slowly, you're getting like a low pass filter on it and it's changing the parameters of whatever synth is on the guitar. That was sick. Dang. I've been missing so many great songs on here. At the drop of a hat. I know I've heard this too. That's also on the acoustic, right? Um, but I, have I heard the original? I uh, don't think so. Okay, I've only heard the the acoustic Christmas version for this. Thank you, Matt. And now, okay, let me back it up. Mika's whisper harmony. Oh, that that was nice. That reverb. Oh. Okay, this sounds super familiar now. Dang, this really shows the diversity and range they have in their music. I mean, they have so many great songs for, you know, acoustic feels now. You know, any of, <laughs> like, any of those soft songs, Paige, Endless Story, Daydreaming, like, they could all sound so good acoustic, but the fact that we're hearing this right next to the last song we heard, which was, like, Face Melting, you know, just crazy diversity on their albums. More on the floor, you don't hear that often in Batman? That was a beautiful chorus. So it's a kind of a precursor to memorable, and I'm guessing about us kind of has that same feel. Oh, what's the other song I'm thinking of? Probably memorable. Anyway, <laughs> dude, I did not know. Like I had completely forgotten about this song after the acoustic version. What I love is even in acoustic songs like this, acoustic sound songs, Akane's drum work is still so interesting and so tastefully done. It's not boring at all like a lot of acoustic versions of songs or acoustic style songs can be. <laughs>
Love that four on the floor switch right there. Another freaking great drum fill. And this must be around the time where Akane really started experimenting with these compound fills where the note values are changing throughout the drum fill to give it even more rhythmic texture and stuff. Just so tasteful. Oh. That bass. This drum! Okay, this drum pattern. Using the toms to drive the drum pattern and then hitting, what is that, like a tambourine or something with reverb on it? That just creates such a different sound. It's so innovative, it's so unlike anything I've heard. Also, Misa, same thing. That bass work in that little bridge there, kind of sliding around, playing some chord stuff. Like, for an acoustic song, you don't expect that level of interesting composition, you know? The drums just invert? And then we got some like Tycho going on here. Wow. I did not see that string arrangement coming in at the end or classical arrangement. Maybe was that a little bit of Koto, you think? I don't know. But. That was sick. Oh, I've heard every other song on Conqueror. Wow. Oh, yeah, I suppose Wonderland, Azure. I've heard Dilemma. And I've heard Bubble, Dream Crash, Flying High, Catharsis, Blooming. Reincarnation. Okay. Reincarnation and Dilemma are are stumping me a bit. Maybe I should give them another listen. <laughs> All right, Dilemma. Let's check it out. Oh, Reincarnation is Ring, Rene, whatever, how you say it? Okay. All right, ooh. They played in Houston on this last tour, huh? That's sweet. Okay, let's check it out. Oh yeah, this sounds familiar now. Again, the, the guitar layering is so ridiculously thick. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! 
That guitar is so Oh my god! Okay, let me see here. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, that's right. Did I put this on my other channel, this reaction? Because I now I remember Matt diving deeper into this after watching the Lion King Shibuya concert. Wave Potter. Del I just want to see which channel it's on here. Oh no, it's on this channel. What? Okay. <laughs> How many guitars? Okay. Dude, that everything in this song so far is just like, what the crap? I can't wait to listen to this on repeat. Oh my gosh, another compound drum fill. Akane is just laying it on thick. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Oh my gosh. I just, I don't know where to pause it again because this song is so, has such a perfect flow to it. But what was that in the second verse or something? Konami was doing like these little licks underneath everything else. It's just like, it's like, ding, ding, da, 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 or something. It's like so faint in the background, but dang, that's tasty. <laughs> Vlad flying high. That's on this. Okay, I'll do that one next. Dilemma. Okay. This part. Oh. Taiko drums the back
I'm sorry if I'm making any, like, stank faces in the middle of this. Like, I'm going through a lot of stomach pain right now, too. But, like, my my brain is so happy right now. Again, we get another one of these these classy Akane drum fills where she has a lot of very nicely gentle accented ghost notes built into it like in at the drop of a hat oh. Dude, I, I just can't wait to stream this album, both of these albums, on repeat and just really get to know these songs. Because there's so many gems on these albums I didn't even know I was, you know, I was missing out on. And thank you so much, Vlad, for the super chat. And, like, really appreciate you. Um, all right, Flying High... I might as well just let you guys know what's going on, too, a little bit with my health. Um, I've been, you might know I've been having, like, problems with my vision and migraines and this crazy neck pain. And I have, I had no idea what was wrong. Just found out today that I have gallstone issues. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to treat it so I don't have to get surgery to get it removed. Um, but in the meantime, it's, like, really painful. So, like, if I start headbanging and get really into the music, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, or when I drink water or anything, it's just, like, out of nowhere. So if I look like I'm having a bad time, that's what it is. It's not the music. So flying high, let's check this out. And, again, thank you, Vlad that super chat oh yeah Ooh. I'm not gonna lie Ray, Ray Tech I wouldn't dare say that to Rosie right now <laughs> Oh. How the bass is driving the song. Okay, wait. I can't talk over this. Connie's getting all fancy now. There's just so much. There's so much to take in. This is okay. Wow. This is the era where Bandmade like really started to go for it and and you know became this transcendent really unique band with their composition. It's like uh, you know, their first three albums they have some really great stuff on it, but once they started writing their own music, it just became so like all these songs that we've heard on Conqueror so far, Mises bass work, uh, Akane's drum work, and Konami's guitar work, just all above and beyond, going so far to make every little part sound so interesting, 
keep the songs so engaging throughout and they just never get boring and they go by so fast. Double kick work. This is call and response vocal. <laughs> Again, the kind is just flexing throughout this whole song too. But the I love these the harmonies, Miku. Again, another very unique aspect of bandmate, especially like from this era on, is Miku her backing vocals. The way it's not just always harmonies, but it also is a lot of play and creating effects with her vocals that just add these little seasonings and spices to the song to make it uniquely band-made. So good. That drum fill, dude, the d d d d d d d d It's like super polyrhythmic with the rest of the song, but it's just, it's a flex, you know? Akane is that good at keeping time. She can do this polyrhythmic drum fill in the middle of this full song, and it just works so well. <laughs> Perfect rock music, yeah. Mika's harmonies, some ride work. no end to the things that make them special and unique you got that the attitude miko brings to it with shall we <laughs> and then does that scream her voice it's got that it's she's able to sing really high and still maintain that power and that grit and it's just ah, oh, her voice has such a satisfying tone to me you know like crispy on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside oh and like I talked about earlier, their attitude, their personality translates and transfers so well through the music. doesn't matter which direction you look in this band you're looking at genius you know every aspect of the song every single instrument every single composition choice vocals melodies all that it's just 
so well honed and so interesting to listen to. Like you know, when you get once you get into this album, there's too much stuff to comment on when you're reacting. You just gotta let it wash over you and take it in. Ugh. Um, you know, I listen with my current live streams. I listen to a lot of different J Rock, a lot of different bands, and I think someone commented this this morning on my one of my recent bandmate videos. Like even with all that. I've never heard anything like Bandmade. Bandmade still has such a unique sound structure, so many different facets that make Bandmade what they are. And I know a lot of it has to do with how long they've been together, but there's all the other bands that have been together for a long time that haven't made anything as unique as what Bandmade does. You know, they've really grown their chemistry. You can tell they have close relationships, they respect each other, they love each other, and They've just created this chemistry as a band that is unparalleled. It's ridiculous. And such a unique sound. Oh, it's crazy. Okay, I think uh, we're going to go to Rene now, or reincarnation, as English people say. All right. What's it under on YouTube? Ooh, what's that? Oh, they have an official music video. Perfect. Which I've seen before, apparently. But, uh, okay. Duh, that's why I didn't recognize it. Because I knew it by this name and not by reincarnation. But what the heck? Let's watch it anyway. Double kick right from the start. It's non stop palm muting guitar. Oh. Hold on a sec, Matt. Now I only have two made songs I haven't heard and four Maiko songs. After that, there's no spoilers. What what are the two songs I haven't heard? Open your eyes. Perfect. I've heard both of those. Uh, I did full album reactions, I think, to to all three of their first albums. They're on my Patreon, so I've heard all. I've heard those songs before. I know I did. I think I did Summer Drive as a special request, didn't I? I missed them. I know I've heard Summer Drive, but maybe not. So what? Okay, I'll look into it after this. Yeah, this guitar. Also, love around this era how Miku started playing the guitar, more complex guitar parts. Oh, that bass in the first. The guitar hits so hard. So thick. Oh, 
Thank you so much, Glenn, for this week's BM experience. We all expect a report. All right, I'm on it. <laughs> I will document the time. Thank you so much. That really, I really appreciate that, dude. I gotta watch that guitar solo again. She's doing the slidey thing too. Oh, oh my gosh. The insanity of these guitar solos, especially this one, just non stop shredding. Like, Konami could go metal when she wants to, you know? Ooh, I love that bass! <laughs> oh, those harmonics too in the rip. Shut up! Shut up! That's right. The whole album ends with "Shut up." <laughs> what? The? That's like who else could get away with that besides Psyche? You know? <laughs> and Jonas, thank you so much for the contribution to keep it up with the maids. I will. I will. Uh, now that I've heard all their songs, I'm going to try to start thinking of some more creative ways, like the videos I used to make in the past, you know, diving deep or whatever that's going on with the maids. If you have any ideas, let me know of videos you'd like to see based on band made from a musician's perspective. Or, I mean, you guys know what I make. Let me know what you like to see besides reactions. Um, but... I just love how she ends the song with shut up. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Summer Drive wasn't on Spotify. Okay, let me look this up because I think someone made a special request for that once upon a time. So. Interesting. I wonder if it's in my, uh, if it's like private or something. It got blocked. Why do I? <sighs> okay. Well, let me look it up. <laughs> I just, it sounds so familiar. Someone made a request for it. So it's off of Just Bring It? Ooh, we got a PND photo collage. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Oh, I'm thinking of Love, Passion, Matador. Is that like the B side to this or something? Or is it next to it? And I saw this. So this is off Made in Japan. Is that Miku? Or is this one Psyche? Is this Psyche? 
sounds so different. That is Miku, okay. Don't feel like a good summer trap song. Ooh, like some ska guitars. Misa was already killing it on the bass lines here, too. Like, for such an early song, before they really developed their unique sound, that's, the bass is crazy. I guess that is classic Japanese music, though. Cool. Yeah, I think that's actually something Marty Friedman said because he he's done speeches where he talks about the difference between Japanese music and American music and how it's just normal in Japanese music for there to be really intricate and interesting bass lines. So, gotta love it. Oh, psych is doing back in? That's a crazy chair. Look <laughs> at that shift right there. He equals MC Po. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dang, that was so such a sick solo. So this is on Just Bring It, but I keep forgetting. Just Bring It, right? Um, dang, she just, again, flexing during that guitar solo. Oh, Made in Japan. Why am I? I'm sorry, my memory sucks. Hey. 
bass is just all over the place. I love the way Misa goes up and down the octaves of whatever key she's playing in, you know? Just gives the bass so much fun movement. Um, so, there's a... Uh, you mentioned I missed one in the middle of the Just Bring It reaction. That's why I was confused. What was the one I missed on Just Bring It? So what? Uh, I think you said. Funny part is, I think I probably listened to this casually since then. Because I I listened to the Just Bring It album on repeat a lot. But <laughs> maybe I just forgot to record a reaction. Whoops. Um... All right, let's do it. Which track is this, by the way? Um. Uh oh, am I going forward? Here we go. Oh, there are a lot of like singles on here. Start over, string screaming. Okay. Oh, it's literally in the middle of the album. <laughs> oh, okay. So I really don't hear this song very often because I always start this album from time and then let it loop around. So I probably miss this song every time I listen to the album. That's hilarious. Okay. Because I'm like, this doesn't sound so familiar. Dude, this almost has like a theatrical sound to it. Like it could be part of a musical. Dude, this has such a sick chord progression in it. Like, it's very linear, it feels like. It just keeps moving all over the place. Oh, that slide. Oh, Paul, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's been great chilling with you and chilling with you and the maids on YouTube. Thank you so much, Paul. Really appreciate that. I'm glad you're having fun. Uh, this has been a long time coming. Matt, you know.
Wow. Again, this all sounds like it could be like a pivotal part of uh, you know a theatrical production. Such different composition style than I'm used to from Bandmade. Those chords Konami's playing. What the heck? Dang, I love, I do love this album, and I, I can't believe I've been skipping that one. So, for some reason, I always start with time. I mean, as you can see here, it's the only one hearted, because it's one of my favorite bandmate songs. I don't know why, it's just so good. Um, But, okay, Daydreaming, Yellow. I've heard Matchless come an unfair game, right? Well, let's look it up. Bandmade. Wave Potter. Matchless. I think I watched it during a live stream or something. I don't know. So there's four micro tracks I haven't heard. Let's pretend you haven't. Oh, it's 441. I gotta be done by five though. Otherwise, uh I'll be neglecting Rosie. So Oh, they were in my Unseen World live stream. Okay, thank you, Matt. It's good to know. So what what are the Micah songs I haven't heard? The ones that don't have videos? I've heard Gancho, Secret Micah Lips, and Tora Tora. So all the other ones? Play them at two times speed. <laughs> uh, oh, this! Okay, I remember I recognized this album art. Was this from like a single or EP or something? With screaming on it. Wait, is this a Micah song? Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I'm not sure how to say your name, but I really appreciate that. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, this is the start over single. So was Screaming a B-side to that? Oh, yeah. Was that a single or an EP or what? Oh. Yeah, that sounds funny. Why does it say Ban Maiko on here? <laughs> okay. The ones without... Need to add, oh, Maiko screaming. So there is a version of that? Okay. Ben Maiko. Oh, duh. It was right here this whole time. Drum sounds and stuff. Yeah. 
That guitar lick. Did it? The Trump fill again. Oh my gosh. So I have heard the original screaming because this still, it, it feels fresh to me right now. But like, dang, another really interesting composition. How does it not sound like anything else we heard? Double kick work, triplets. Whoa. Okay, I did a breakdown of this song too. What the crap? Uh, that makes sense because it's one of those songs where I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much cool stuff going on here. The double kick work in the song Akane's doing is absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jonas. I hope you see them soon. <laughs> the, the vocal sounds are the best part of the Van Mica songs when they. When they're doing like the traditional style vocals over the music, it's just so good. Misa screams. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, now I remember this song. This is just non-stop insanity. That tr guitar solo section, the drums and guitar. Those double kick I can't do it with my mouth. It's like got that gallopy feel to it. Yes! The drum fill! <laughs> Oh my gosh. So that, oh, Lord Vorador screaming was the birth of Konami's harmonizer pedal use? It's use in the song is subtle enough that I'm cool with it. Yeah, it still has like that, that warm, organic tone to it. It's a good point.
Someone going nuts on the Koto in the background. All right. So there's some three micro tracks remaining. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap things up here because it's almost five. My stomach is killing me. And uh, hopefully next time I'll feel better. So I'm going to start doing these bandmate streams more regularly. And next time we will get those micro songs. We'll do those. And then we'll revisit some of the more rare ones that I've only heard once. Be like, uh, you know, Matchless Gum, Unfair Game, that stuff. And, uh, but I'm like, I got to be done now because my back is starting to hurt. So, all right. You are bandmate complete. But I'm, or I need some type of celebration point. Okay, let me do this. Win screen. Is that anything like for a video game? Oh yeah, Wii Sports, yay. <laughs> well, that was underwhelming. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you for uh, joining me during this. I'm, I'm glad you guys had fun and I'll be doing this again soon to catch up on the rest of the Micah stuff and whatnot. And we'll just see where it goes from there, but uh, thank you all so much for being here. Really appreciate it and the the support, the super chats, and the feedback and comments and stuff. And I uh, hope you're all doing well. Thank you all for hanging out. Talk to you later.